can't see. Hey, what's going on guys? Got some parts in the mail for the Camaro today. And I uh, got some footage from some stuff I made for it. So we'll get busy on that. You're watching Hot Motorsports on YouTube. So I started a project and forgot to film, so what we have, this piece fits right behind the bumper on my Camaro. This was a six cylinder car, so it would have had the air filters there and there. Um, they hang clear down right in front of the radiator, and this has always been a hard car to keep cool. So. I thought a flat panel would probably do better. So I uh, had this stuff here for a short period of time. I worked in a plastic factory running an extruder making plastic and I brought that sheet home. It was a, had defects in it. And I've just been waiting for a project for it. So, so I got it all cut out and then uh, I wanted something to attach it to the core support. So I heated the edge with a little propane torch and bend it over a piece of wood on both sides to create a lip. Um, there's a there's a metal piece on the Camaro that has the hood latch. I'm going to draw a little hole and put a push clip here. And then the factory, factory screws into the bumper will go in like that. But I'm hoping it'll, I mean, flat panel has to let more air through than those things. So I'm just going to take my pocket knife, clean up some of the burrs. So, just fits down in there kind of like that. Um, piece of black probably would have been ideal, but I don't mind the gray. And then this little lip here. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to do. A couple little screws maybe. Let's see what I have. I uh, may have to get something. And then that hole there. We'll drill a hole to line up. Let's see if I have a push clip for it and help hold that down. But I don't think it looks too bad. There we go, it's all done. And I just ended up running a couple self tappers on each side. Got the push clip and all the factory hardwares put back on. But you can actually see the radiator now, where before you just saw the little drop down pieces where the air filters set. So, pretty happy with it. Package from Summit Racing. Grab a hold of it. Go get started on opening it. Nothing real exciting, but uh, something I've needed. So, what we have is uh, OER finally started making parts for the third bins. So, got a uh, factory style overflow reproduction for the coolant tank. And I did cheap out. I got the Dorman cap for it. Um, the OER cap was twice as much, and I figure it's just a vented cap. So this new part is going to replace that. Um, the reason for me replacing it with a factory part, uh, I was given the catch can back years ago, I don't know, over 10 years ago, and uh, when I thought I was building a race car, and I mean, it catches the coolant, but it never returns the way it's supposed to. So I'm trying to make this more of a driver. So uh, sometimes stock parts are what you need. So get that pulled off of there. Um, I think I've got one bolt down here through a factory hole. Now you can see what happens is uh, as the coolant gets hot, expands, pushes past the spring in the cap, on these catch cans that's literally all they're doing is catching it it 
never returns back into the radiator. So every time you end up with your radiator being low, this one is like almost always about two inches low. I top it off and just goes back into here until this thing ends up full and it's coming out of the breather or until I drain it. It does have a little tech cock on the bottom. But the factory, and I'll show you as I get it on there, the factory enters through the bottom. So it's always got a supply to draw back into the radiator from. Actually put together a little tool bag that I can carry around with me, but it's actually been really handy in the garage instead of going over to the toolbox for everything. You can just put this right beside you. Easy enough. Grab the new one, get it open. It looks like a nice part. I've only ever really seen one other uh, part from OER, and it was nice too. It was a bezel for a 67 Firebird headlight, but I mean, this looks looks like factory. I'm really hoping I bought the right cap. Fits. Um, so these from the factory, I believe, were held in with push clips. Uh, I've got a little bit of a variety. I'll have to see what I have. But I know I've got some from when I've put other cars together, so we'll see what I got. I think it looks good. Gotta pull the hose off the old catch can, see if it's long enough. I'm kind of guessing it's not going to be, so I'm gonna have to run to the parts store. Yeah, the old hose wasn't long enough, but I found a piece of hose, so I think it's all right. We'll, we'll get it on there and clean it up a little bit. This is my lucky day. Found the hose, found a hose clamp that I was missing. Well, wouldn't you know it? It's made right in the USA. Hopefully we'll get the coolant topped off and uh, between that and the filler I made and getting more air through the front with less obstruction, um, hopefully those are two things that will somewhat help. Uh, I know, everybody thinks they probably need electric fans. I really don't want to make that switch, um, I just like the reliability of a, a fan running off the motor, but we'll see. OER that made this also started reproducing the 82 to 85 uh, fan shroud, upper and lower. And so I think I'm gonna probably order one of those. And at some point, you can't tell, but this radiator is too small for the car. Um, back when I was in my early 20s, I wanted an aluminum radiator and I was cheap so it is a Griffin it's a good radiator but I bought a universal fit and the only way to get one to fit width wise was to get one that wasn't very tall so I made a angle iron bracket that holds the radiator up so if I could get the proper radiator that may help too I didn't have any antifreeze, so uh, we were wanting to go to the drive-in movies anyway, so I'll grab some at Walmart and then go and go to the drive-ins and then I'll fill it up tomorrow.
All right, here we are. It's the next day. I'm going to top off the radiator and the uh, coolant tank, and this project will be done for today. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.